In this video we're going to take a look at the wiki function in Moodle. Um, Moodle does have a wiki that functions very much like uh, pbwiki or accomplishes uh, the goals of any other wiki uh, in terms of collaboration. Um, there are a few different uh, ways that you can use wiki and some features to it and we're going to go ahead and cover that in this uh, video. So first thing I'm going to do is turn editing on. I'm going to go to activities and I'm going to add the wiki. As with anything else, it'll ask me to name it. Sample wiki. Okay, let's talk about type for a second. If I select teacher, um, Moodle will provide a wiki that I can edit and students can view. If I choose student, um, it will give each student their own wiki uh, that they can edit and, and that kind of thing. Students can comment on other students' wikis, but each student will have their own wiki. And if I choose groups, each group, say first hour, my first hour group, will have their own wiki that they can edit. So everybody will have access to that. So depending on how you want to use this, uh, you want to make sure you choose the type, the correct type. And again, use the blue um, question marks here. They're uh, very useful. Uh, I'll let that come up here in a second. So I have teacher, uh, separate groups, visible groups. I'm not going to go all this through this specifically. I'm going to cover that in just a moment here. In this case, I have to choose teacher because I don't have any students or groups in the sample uh, Moodle here. All right. With this, I also choose no groups because I don't have any groups. But if you have separate groups, um, first hour will not be able to see what second hour is doing. If you choose visible groups, then they will. So you could have collaboration between your classes. Um, you could also do this with forum and other things in Moodle. Um, and it, that's a really kind of a neat feature about it. In this case, I'm going to choose no groups only because I don't have students and we're just looking over kind of the basics of the wiki. I'm going to click Save and Return to Course. Turn editing off. Scroll down, click Sample Wiki. Okay. A couple things here. Um, you have a search bar here to search the wiki. Um, we'll talk about these things in just a moment. Um, here in our tabs we have View, Edit, this is if we want to edit the wiki, Links, these are links that are provided for the wiki, and here's the History tab. Now the History tab will allow you to see who has done what, who has edited what, so on and so forth in the wiki. Uh, that's a nice feature in case somebody put something inappropriate or something like that. So I'm just going to add something to this real quick. Just like that. And I'm going to save it. So the first page in the wiki is a sample wiki, and it just says this is a sample wiki. All right. Now, I want to talk about something called a camel case. A uh, camel case allows to um, allows the the person who's creating the wiki to create a link out of a word. Okay. If you've ever used Wikipedia you know that as you read through whatever it is you're, you're talking about within the entry there are links to other things um, for example if it were a wiki on football it might have a description about football start talking about things and then it may come across to it may say the major um, league uh, for football is the NFL and the word NFL would be a link in and of itself that you could click on and then go find out about the NFL All right. This is how you do this in Wiki. That's what camel case is for. So let's say you were at this site and you were reading this is a sample Wiki. And you said to yourself, well, what's a Wiki? I, as a person who is producing the Wiki, could use camel case. And all that is is the brackets here and here. As you can see, I bracketed the word Wiki. Okay. Now, when I click Save, it's going to show a question mark. It will only do this when I put those brackets or in other words camel case. It's called camel case because it's kind of the two humps of a camel that surrounds a word. OK. 
okay? When I click on the question mark, it's going to open up another wiki page for me. Now here I can either put, uh, um, I can either define what a wiki is or I can also uh, open a new page, search for example wiki, here's the Wikipedia entry on wikis, I can click on that. Go ahead and um, copy and paste this here. Maybe I could even do something like uh, and I'll save that. So now if I go to my main page, we'll go ahead and go to I'll go ahead and use the breadcrumbs here and go to sample wiki. Hard to see, but it's right there. So here's my first page of my wiki. And as we saw before, this is a sample wiki. I put the camel case captions around this word. I'm going to close this site so you can see how it opens up to it. When I click on this, it'll then take me to what is a wiki. Here it is. Here's the link that I provided. The students can click on this and it takes them to what a wiki is. It'll also have the referring links here. In addition to this, once I've added this, now I can click on links and it'll provide it right here. Now, if you've ever used a wiki before, you know that as you add things, it grows and grows and grows and grows. So as we add more things, there'll be more links here, more pages, so on and so forth. And now that I've added something, we can look at history and see that I, Brian Hilton, have created a page, modified it at this date and time. You get a timestamp here. It's a, it's a nice thing again. So if I were to search this wiki for the word wiki, it would pull up pages that have the word wiki in them. So wiki is a really nice way to collaborate, to provide a lot of information that's really dynamic and rich uh, for your students or have your students build this um, and it all again operates within Moodle so you have the advantage of it being password protected and not kinda out somewhere uh, like with PBWiki or, or something like that. And this has been the video on how to create a wiki in Moodle.